Good evening and welcome to Nashua High School North for this evening's contest between the North Titans and the Purple Panthers of Nashua South. The NHIAA and its member schools thank you for coming to support your team this evening. High school sports are an extension of the classroom learning experience. The student athletes in front of you have worked hard in the classrooms as well as at practice and in the weight room to be able to play here tonight. As we encourage them to demonstrate good sportsmanship, we would also ask that you, our fans, help us make this event a meaningful one for our athletes by showing respect for your team, the opposing team, the coaches, and the officials. We thank you in advance for the positive sportsmanship you will display tonight. In the unlikely event of an emergency or fire alarm, all occupants are to leave the building being the nearest exit. There are exits located all four corners of the gym, but the exit doors located on the bench side will lead directly to the outside of the building. Please be reminded that for the safety of the players, coaches, and officials, all spectators are not permitted on the court before, during, or after the matches. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. Now, let's meet tonight's starting lineups. For our Nashua North, South, excuse me, South Purple Panthers, number zero, Josh Caruso. Number 11, Zach Castaway. Number 13, Samson Akodi. Number 22, Joshua Tripp. And number 33, Daniel Karavanich. The Purple Panthers are coached by Nate Mazarol. And now for our National North Titans. Number four, Parth Magloney. Number 13, Alize Roy Cortez. Number 15, Gavin Terrio. Number 25, Luke Peters. And number 34, Jaden Pena. The Titans are coached by Steve Lane. Tonight's game will be officiated by William Dapkus, Darrell Robichaud, and Barry Hammer. Elise Murphy will be our athletic trainer. At this time, please stand if you're able and remove your hats for the national anthem. Presenting the colors tonight is the Nashua JROTC. Singing our national anthem, please welcome Mr. Al St. Louis. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the
Welcome to Titans Gym here on the campus of Nashua North. I'm Tom King along with Rich McDonough. The Battle of the Bridge. It is Nashua North against Nashua South in boys basketball. Pretty much the main event, part two. We saw the girls game and uh, we off our, uh, we saw the girls game and it was a a 15 point win for Nashua South. And now we have the boys game. Rich McDonough, it should be an interesting contest. And I guess we've got a headset issue, and so we will try to get that repaired. But right now, we've got two players who we're looking at who had injury issues with Nashua South and Nashua North. Josh, They're both playing. Yeah, Josh Caruso. Well, Robinson Rodriguez is not starting, and he usually is a starter. So he got hurt the other night against Keene. Josh Caruso has had a foot problem, but he's in the starting lineup. He was a game time decision, I was told, as we walked in. And the tip goes to National North. As we are underway, take it away, Rich McDonough. I had a little uh, headset problem there at the beginning, but we got two teams headed in kind of opposite directions. Uh, South is 6-2. and two. They won five straight. North, after starting 4-0, and oh, has lost four straight. And what you want to do is get that guy, Parth, Parth McGlani out to the you perimeter. Get, yeah, you get him hot, and you could do some things. But the problem is, you know, he hasn't been left open a lot of times. Teams know that they need to shut him down. North, right. These two teams played in the Christmas tournament final, and North has not won a game since. Well, one of my keys to the game is to pick away for Parth and see if you can get him open on the perimeter. Well, That's it, he can run the floor and he's a smooth player. Yeah, he's their, he's their player right now, but Jaden Pena, if Jaden Pena has a good game, so does Nashville North usually. He is the floor general for this basketball team. And of yeah, course, he, the number 13, Alizé Roy Cortez. Who came he, over from South. So exactly, that's the, uh, that's the uh, little flip side to this. And there's you, there's here's the your guy, Karavatic. Six foot six freshman wearing number 33. And we got to see him play at Fairgrounds Middle School in the tur in tournament last year. And he's got game. Now Rodriguez does have the jacket off. So he is on the front of the bench. So my guess is he'll play. And giving him some good minutes all year long so far is Tiro. And he strokes one from three to get it going. It's three nothing for the Titans. Now they get to look at arguably one of the top two or three backcourts in New Hampshire at any division. And going hard to the basket is the very tall, lanky, and rangy uh, Samson Akodi. We were watching him warm up, and um, he's got springs well, galore. Akote is, he does have springs, but this is the first year that South hasn't had like a 6'8 kid in the middle. And, and Karavanic and Akote are helping to, you know, to counter that now. It, interestingly enough, Parth uh, Maglani goes to the high post there to dish it out to the side, nothing doing. And a good rebound there by Tiro. And we're under six minutes already. Raucous crowd here, TK. Raucous crowd, it's and, gonna be a raucous game. <laughs> and palming the ball. You see, this is the kind of loud, loud noise I wanted for the girls game. You know, we didn't get a lot of that in the girls well, game. Well, you didn't break dance. I know. But Roy Cortez couldn't keep a, keep a palm on that, and the palm ball got up over his shoulder there. If, I did, had to call if I did break dance, this game wouldn't be being played right now because it'd be a huge delay. And there is the very, very speedy Zach Castonway. And he's 5'8", but he is a bullet when he gets a hold and gets a little bit of room. Well, Castingway will go to the hoop, and Caruso will be able to shoot from the outside. They're inside, outside, and the dynamic duo for Nashville South. They had 40 of their 64 points when they played the first time. Well, they're averaging as a duo 47 a game, and Castingway is, uh, hits one from the, excuse me, uh, from the line. So it's pretty simple. You stop yep. them and you stop South, but no one's been able to do it lately. They've won a ton in a row, seven in a row, and and North on the flip side, they've lost five in a row, four games in Division One, including wow. a tough one against Keene, a one-pointer the other night. All right, we're at 5.30 already. Rich McDonough here with Tom King and the whole Nashua ETV crew. We brought everybody tonight. Tim O'Neill and the camera on the sidelines. Dylan Smith is working it with the mobile. 
And the, as I said, the really, really quick casting way. He kind of so, up. so fast coming down the floor. And he gets vertical in a hurry. Yep. Not merely just fast on the floor. He's just a leaper. And good hands by uh, the Guani. Well, yeah, but Caravanic changed his shot right there. Casting way can't get that one to fall. And off to the races goes. Um, this is uh, a Luke fast Peters. and furious pace to start this game. It'll slow down later on. Legs are going to get tired, but at the beginning, it's always been this fast. Well, and there's Parth road hitting the corner. Well defended there, but right away. Caravanic gets called for the foul as he, Cortez goes in. He's got those long arms and long rangey build, and he is just a freshman. And one of my keys was to recognize that you got a freshman center as good as he is, and while all the basketball DNA in the Caravanic family, you want to exploit him. And that could be a good night for Rodriguez if he's feeling up to it. He got bing banged up last week, but we'll see. And going to the line and sinking the first is uh, Roy Cortez. Again, he transferred over from south to north in the offseason, and they're glad to have him on board. He's probably glad to be on board, too, with the way those two guards are playing. What would his, <laughs> what would his minutes have been? Slim. Well, yeah. let's, let's leave it at slim. Yeah, you got to yeah. get a break at some yep. point. <laughs> Handling the ball is a Cote. Gets it over. Good perimeter defense by the Titans so far. Pinning the big guys on the line. Looking to create great crossover and step Little Euro step, nothing doing there. And off to the races goes uh, Cortez. Smartly backs it out and feeds Pena. He front rims and hits the backboard now. And a good rebound there by uh, Josh Tripp, who's regarded as one of the better athletes on this athletic team. Castling Way can't get that one to fall, gets his own and drains it yeah, from the foul Yeah, but a great line. offensive rebound by Caravanic to get that ball in the yeah, lane. Yeah, good tip. Yep. Yep. Oh, and he just he caught it, then he just flipped it right away to Castanway, who was wide open. Castanway was wide open. Yeah, quick catch and release. Yep. All right, Pena with the ball, looking to create. Oh, nice Good pass. cut by Parth. And he gets, and he gets the drop, the and he gets a foul, Tom. Gets a hand foul. Well, Magani is a, you know, a really streaky, rangy shooter. He is averaging just under 17 a game for the season. Uh, and he lit it up for 36 at, against Bedford earlier on the, in the year. And again, they're on a four game losing streak after starting 4-0. And they really, they got to get off the schneid here. And this is a good place to do it in a big, big time meaningful game. All right, back on offense are the Purple Panthers. Taking it as Trip, and he gets it high off the glass and in. I tell you what, every point that Trip can contribute. That's huge. Any points that anybody other than the two guards get, it just adds to the till, right? And yeah. another foul. Well, and South doesn't go deep, deep, Tom, unlike the balanced and pretty deep uh, right. North attack. But their six, seven guys are pretty darn quality. All right, and Parth McGlani going to the line at 3.08. Down 10 to 8 are the home court. Titans and Parth is a smooth shooter. My son, Mike McDonough, played with him in middle school, and we saw the talent back then as well. So it's now 10 9, looking to could, tie it up. Could Mike take him off the dribble? Yes, he could. I thought so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, his, as you know, his uh, passion was basketball. So where is uh, the young McDonough going to go to uh, college, by the Still way? Still a mystery. Still a mystery. He yeah. is getting recruited by MIT to play some ball, I, football. I hope he plays. But he's going. He's looking at Duke, Michigan, Virginia, North Carolina. Got into Bama, Colorado already. All right, Caravanic. taking it hard to the That hoop. is number two on Caravanic. Yeah. He will have to come out. And they'll have to put someone else in there as Nate Maserol looks at his bench and tries to figure out who's going to put in. And here we go. There's your answer. Is it Isaac? I believe so. Yep, number 24. It's Isaac Nabusi, and he freak, he's been spelling Caravanic. Uh, if I'm if I'm and he's a senior. If I'm Maserol, I keep Caravanic on the bench for the rest of the 
most of the rest of this quarter. That's and tough. In, and the half. That's tough, but they went right at him early. And, you know, I, I kind of said that's one of the keys is recognizing the freshman in a big game. Well, getting that rebound, Robinson Rodriguez, who's in the game. That He's was a, a big kid. rebound. That was a big rebound. And, and taking one in the eye was yeah. Melendez there. Yep. Comes off for a few small repairs. 2.49 in the first quarter. Yep, so now he'll be tended to by the trainer. Interestingly enough, we're tied at 2.49 in spite of the fact that it kind of feels like South has momentum. North has been able to repel it and fight it off. Tom. Right. And a couple of fouls will do that. All right, so inbounding it is North. McGlani handling the ball, gets it in a quick, and nice to Rodriguez. play there, and finds Rodriguez and at 6'5". And that's what they did not have against Keene the other night. They did right. not have that inside presence. Well, and now you go from a 6'6 guy in the interior to 6'1", versus Rodriguez at 6'5". And your big guy at 6'6", has two fouls. Great backside cut, and can't get the drop, is Caruso averaging 28 points a game. Nothing doing that time, and down comes Roy Cortez knows this team very well, having played there last year. A good kick out, but no, nobody home. And get it out fast to your speedy, speedy. The guy's like a race car. And a good rebound there. What was by too Hero. fast? Too fast in that moment. And finding on the wing is. Uh, Ooh, wide open, Parth. Yeah, Pena yep. turned one down, but Parth is waiting. Yep. That's that, smart, patient and, basketball. And now that's a timeout for Nate Maswell because he knows that North's got the offensive explosion to be able to pull away. He does not want that to happen, so he calls timeout with a 15 to 10 game. Yeah, you ain't kidding there. We're under two minutes, and as I was just pointing out, and I think we're kind of on the same page that it felt like South had the upper hand, and it's a hard fight, and they fought it off, is all I can say is they fought it off, and they got a quick five points after a few uh, free throws by Parth. Right, but when you miss layups, and the other team gets the rebound, yep. that it, just all of a sudden, it's deflating on one end, and it's tough on the other. And what do we have? We have a seven point seven, swing and now it's 15-10. Right. Exactly, it was 10-6 at one point. And your buddies there on the left, the uh, Titans crowd are letting you hear it there, Tom. Yep. All right, handling the ball is Caruso. They bring it up court, get it over to Tripp. Tripp takes off, being deftly guarded there by Tiro. Good handle there by uh, Cote. Tries it, back rims the long ball, can't do it. Coming down with it is Roy Cortez. Yeah, it's not a create. bad shot, he was no. wide open, so you gotta take it. No. And, he, you know, no matter how closely he's guarded with those long arms and the quick hop. Look at that. Bang, zoom. And Roy now Cortez. it's 18 to 10. He went from the left side all the way to the right, hunting that ball and hunting that shot. Now he and did, it's a 10 He did a lot run. of that for South in the last year, and yeah. now he's doing it for the, the Titan. Yeah. 10 point run on tap right now for the Titans. And they're looking to get. Uh, get on the scoreboard for the evening. But uh, the girls team having lost the first, first one. And 108, and it's 18-10 now. And to the line goes the ever reliable casting way. It's kind of automatic from the stripe there. Al Caruso said to me the other night, he knew that North was going to come out strong and ready in this game, and they have done just that. Yep. And Luke Peters comes into the game. That's a good, good substitution. He's just a gritty, hard player, terrific football player as well. Mike McDonough knows that after throwing yeah. a couple of picks <laughs> yeah, to him. Exactly. I know it. <laughs> it's all right. The Peters family are terrific. Anyway, we're at a minute, folks. It's 18-12 for the hometown Titans here. Spinning around the top side to the wings and finding Peters. And they're looking to chew some clock here, it seems. And we got good hard zone defense right now from Panthers. Finding its way. Yeah, great it's inside great ball outside movement. game. Great ball movement by Nashua North. Fantastic. All the focus went under the uh, down to the block and by the rim, and then Rodriguez went over the top and down. Trip with the ball, looking to create. 
solidly defended there by Peters. 20 seconds left, so they're going to look for the last shot here. Yep. I've seen this team take a minute and a half off the clock on the dribble. Right. So they should be able to do this no problem. It's just a question of getting that good shot, and I think Castingway is going to take it. Well, and as tough as Peters is, it's a mismatch on trip. And, and he there does. Is. TK, you're going to Vegas, buddy. Yep. There we go. Wow, after a good, hard-fought first quarter, back and forth, lead changes, lead swings, and a good run by North. Uh, we head for the second frame of four with um, the Titans up 20 to 14. What do you think, Tom? Well, I think that South, their offense not in gear because Caruso, I believe he's scoreless in this in this first quarter. Um, that happens. That's not good for South because yeah. they need his points. They have come to rely on those points. How do you fill a 28 point per game vacancy? I, you, I, I don't you, know you that don't, you can. You don't do it. I, I, I don't see how you do it. So. so let's keep close eyes on how they platoon guard him. But I think the key there is Castanway. With that speed, there's nobody who can stay with him. Right. And if they have to, you know. Well, that's just it. If, if Caruso can't do it, Castanway has to. Has to, but if right. it, but if they rotate and float over to the guy who right. now takes up the cudgels yep. and starts scoring, that's going to probably leave some gaps or some back picking, uh, off ball picking to right. get Caruso free. And I think you're right; they do need Caruso to do some damage. Yep, can't can't make it happen all night. No doubt about it. Yep. All right, a fresh eight is on the clock. Rich McDonough with Tom King for everybody at Nashua ETV. Battle of the Bridge is always fun no matter what sport it is, and this is no different tonight here in a raucous Titans gym. And starting out with the ball is Caruso. He's a 6'2 junior, and he was uh, all second team as a sophomore last year. Terrific player. Averaging 25 points a game, as we said. That's up from 17 last year, and a quick foul and a quick bucket. The Panthers convert one in the lane when everybody's looking topside. And they draw to 20 to 16. Whiff. Ike, the big fella. Nabusi going up on the free throw line. That's what you need. You need other players to make up for those points, right? You Next ask, man up. And that's how you do it. And smooth, smooth is the big guy. And he cuts it to 2017 at the 740 mark. But right, attacking the rim immediately is exactly what you'd want to do. Don't let him set up. And that was Roy Cortez recognizing it. That's, and going hard. Nice that job. That is exactly what you need to do. You need to be aggressive if you're National South. Yeah. I mean, National North. I mean, keep, your time is now. Yeah, and you need to, to keep the aggression, keep the foot on the gas, right? Yep, you got a team winning five straight. Yep. You've lost four straight. What do you have to lose? Well, look at and Castanway. <laughs> Castanway yep. goes right over, gets yep. that right hand floater. Even at 5'8, he plays like a much bigger fella. All right, Roy Cortez looking to create from the point. Parth rotates up to the top side. Nothing doing, looking for the pick from Rodriguez. Can't do it, Rodriguez backs off the pick and roll, nothing doing. It rattles off the rim and out. And Caruso zings it down to Castanway. Castanway finds a cutting Pena. Excuse me, a uh, cutting um, uh, Lemire. No can oh, do. Oh, and a block by Tripp. And here comes Lemire back down the court, finds Caruso, who finally gets off the schneid. And there it is. There's a big three. That is South basketball. All of a sudden, it's a 22 all game. And I tell you, I was a point and guard, shooting guard in high school on my varsity team. And you have that drought, and you get one gone, and your psyche changes, Tom. I'll tell you my basketball story next time out. All right, buddy. All right, Parth trying one from outside. Rouse, he was looking to go down, couldn't get it in. And coming up as we got six minutes approaching as Caruso couldn't get that one. It looked just like Parth's shot. Rattles out and it's 22-22. What a game at the 6.02 mark. And the Titans back on offense here. Well, you gotta get Caruso and Castanway rolling and they're trying, well, they're doing the, everything they can the to make that work. The two shooters had balls that went right in on their way down and yep. rattled out. Maglani yep. for North and Caruso for South. It's that kind of, that's the way the game goes, right? Yep, and P Pena looks, he sees just enough space and draws and a foul. draws a foul, but that's the guy that North, South's got to be careful of is Pena. Pena can direct the He's offense. so quick. He is quick, he can do a lot of things. Yep. You forget about him sometimes because you're worried about McGuani. You're worried about 
Rory Cortez. You're worried about Robinson Rodriguez getting inside, but you forget about guys like Peters and you forget about Payne. You know, Payne has been there to most consistent score. Well, he's a senior and he dropped season. 17, you know, the last week against Keene. So, you know, was, he's got chops two, galore. One last week, it was two nights ago. Two nights ago, excuse me. The date was a makeup it's, date. You know, with all the games we've done lately, it seems like last week. <laughs> All right, 22-22, it remains deadlock, 541. And Caruso takes the ball, looks it up, gets it up to Ike, to Busey. And Ike passes it off to the reliable and traveling. slipping and traveling. That was going to be called. They might, want to get a, yeah, they might want to get a cloth out there and see if there's something that caused that. But they yeah, don't. I mean, it seemed like it came out of nowhere. Yep. And, I mean, talk about a kid with uh, feet of glue. You don't see him on the deck too much unless he asked, asked to go there. Chasing, he does it all. All right, bringing it up the court here is Pena. He's looking to create, gets it to his right side, redirects, finds Rodriguez. Rodriguez, tall, rangy player. Oh! Inside out, and then it goes out again and outside the lines, and it's a turnover. I think if you get the ball down low like that in the paint, you've got to turn around and shoot it, right? Couldn't tell whether somebody poked that from behind or not, but he right, looked pretty I, disconsolate. I couldn't either. And let's see what we, the whistle is now. Is there a clock issue? Let's see. Uh, Maybe a little blood? Yeah, something wrong. So, possibly I mean, something pay, with... Uh, Payne is, pay is saying, I don't have anything on my jersey. What's going on? Might what? have been bubblegum. I don't know, but they're going <laughs> to spray it. But now he's got to come out of the game. See? Yeah, and here comes the trainer. Yeah, he does have blood on the left side of his jersey. Yep, he does. We just got to look at it. Yep. Yep, and to the locker room he goes. That's a requirement. Reasonable. All right, 15-15. We got a timeout on the floor. 22-22 at 5-15, uh, excuse me. Tom, back and forth. It's been a frenetic pace the last couple too minutes. Too bad it wasn't 22-22 at 2-22. Then we would have been all set. Right? Yeah, you don't get you don't get that happening too often here. No. You know, <laughs> no. wasn't it recently it was 1-23-24 or something like yeah, that. Yeah, with the date. A yeah, date. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But the, here's the thing that's happening. You know, pace is slow. It, it, it doesn't look like it. Right. It's slowed down a little bit. Why? It has legs. You can't keep that. Even at, even at, even at their age, they can't keep. <laughs> keep that pace up very What's long. the matter with them? You with know? The, <laughs> I tell you, what, what I think we saw, Tom, was all that adrenaline. I mean, the, the gym is loud. I mean, this is, this is a, a hallmark event for the area and the two schools and all right. the kids and families. Exactly. And I think they were just completely pumped up. And now they're settling into some sort of recognizable rhythm. Both on both squads. Well, I think South got their offense in gear. They got Caruso going with a three, that lifts them up. Yep. They're getting some balls inside, that helps them out a little bit. North, meanwhile, they're getting the ball in the hands of guys who can score, and that's a big deal. But, and no, but North went on that 10 point run since they were up, uh, I think, uh, 18 tw 10? 18 10, yeah. Yeah, it's been a 12 4 run for, for the South. Panthers. Right. Well, with different players doing all the scoring. Like so many sports, it's a game of runs. All right, without a whole lot of depth there, Aiden Clow comes in, number 32. Taking advantage of Pena being out. Gets so new. And front rim to the back rim goes Kostantinway. I thought he would nail that one, Tom. So did I. Solid. Oh, they let, oh, the win up middle was wide open. He should have taken it all the way. McGlani, yep. nice weak side rebound. All right, dishing it out to Peters. So Pena, has a, Pena has a different number now. All right, he's number 51 because of that jersey switch. I see. Yeah, I was frantically checking the yes. swing roster. Yep, Pena. And I realized it was he who yep. was wearing it. <laughs> and he just traveled and got away with that. Good call, oh, Tom. Robinson, that adds Rodriguez a there. Yeah, no kidding. See, Rodriguez just gets all those loose balls. He's got long arms. He's got to reach. Interesting to note, a lot of this comeback yeah, the first swing, and then the comeback is happening without big number 33, Karavanich, on the sideline. I told you he'd be on the bench for most of this half. Yeah. Two fouls early. I was at Georgetown when Patrick Ewing was a uh, sophomore and freshman, and he would sit a lot of the first half because yep. he got an early foul yep. trouble. All right. Oh, big McLaughlin. shot, McLaughlin. That's what they like to see. Well, they set that up from a mile away when he had rotated over back to his left. 
Yep. Hips were square. No, no, no point. Nothing doing there. Nice and clean. And it's 25-22 for the Titans. 350 and counting. I in bet our Car second quarter. is probably going to look to try to even this thing up. Yep. He puts it in his left, goes to the right, can't get, does get the roll. That is a shooter's roll, and he took a hard oh, he bang to the back of the head. Oh, he went down hard, yep. Oh, Peter's wide open. And up, see Daisy, up goes like Nabusi, and he gets a piece of that. Caruso lines it up from three. Great rebound out there. What a hustle play by Clow. And back to Tripp, and Tripp draws the foul from Peters. Outstanding action, great hustle by, by both sets of fellas. And it's 25-24, 3-19, with the Panthers going to the line in the hands of Tripp. Josh Tripp averages 3.7 a game. He's described as one of their best athletes, as I said earlier, on a very athletic team. And at 6-2, let's see his smooth style. Can't get it to rim in. Too much. Adrenaline on that free throw. I agree with that. And into the game comes Shane Lemire again. Number 34, he takes a uh, middle block on the far on the uh, and, side nearest the camera. And Caruso is out. Yeah, I think he took a pretty good whack yeah, on the back he, of the head. He I can't did, see whether the trainers. No, no trainers no. has looked at him. He is sitting on the bench right now, just getting a breather. Yeah, I can't see around the corner there, Tom. So yeah, you let I, me know I, if he gets an ice pack or something. Yeah. I don't right. see anybody tending to him right now. All right, 319, 318 and counting. Deadlocked at 25. Pena wearing 51 now. He got rid of the bloody shirt. Oh, that's Civil great. War buffs that's know good it. defense by the Panthers. They yeah, made no kidding. Iguani have to really force that shot up. But yeah, they collapsed beautifully. Boy, Nate Masrell is using that bench. He's got guys in this game that haven't played a lot this yeah, year. Yeah, DePaolo comes in, number 42. Yeah, he is rotating people in and out. And he's a big dude. He can give some, some minutes there if he can keep uh, Rodriguez out. Minutes, but not out. points. If you're south, your points are gone. And what a stroke by Parth McGlani with a man in his face. At 257, they go back up 28-25. Now Caruso back in the game. Yeah. There's nothing, not much gonna keep that kid out of any game. Nope. All right, 257, and Caruso's inbounding it, looking for uh the Zephyr. <laughs> Costanway is backcourt mate. Really one of the best two or three backcourts in the state. Maybe in years, Tom. Now well, they're being contained a little bit right now. And Caruso's got a step on Parth there, so we'll see that matchup. He gets to the corner and bang. Yeah, they made a mistake of letting Caruso get a few feet, and he took advantage of it with a mile. Well, he's got a speed advantage, and then they picked away. Picked away. Nice job. Tied at 28. All right, Pena goes up wearing 51. Yeah, Can't off, do it. He was off balance. But it's the jersey. And Caruso, nice crossover dribble, pump fake. From the line, short rims, nothing doing. Maglani with the rebound kicks it out to Pena, who brings it down the right side with 210 and counting. And. And now Steve the ball. Yeah, Steve yeah, Lane wants him to slow it down. Anytime, saw... anytime you see the coach get closer to the scorer's table, that's a sign they want to slow things down a little bit. Yeah, I'd been ready for Peters to take off, but they, uh, they say they put the brakes on that one. All right. Banging it into a big number 30, Don, Donovan, who's 6'5 presence. Uh, and took an ill advised shot. For, yeah, but it was a brush. It was tipped, so yep. it should be north ball. And all over that <laughs> from the sideline was Steve Lane. He saw that. You yeah, can see saw, that brush. Oh, yeah, you yeah. can tell. He must yep. have had LASIK too, Tom. All right, 141. They kick it out to the wing, start the ball around the perimeter. Handling the ball there is Cortez. Getting good pressure there. Good pick. Really good pick by Donovan. Yeah. Frees him up. Can't do it. Good hit the shot. And back down comes uh, Castanway. Goes from left to right and leaps up into the air and gets good pressure, but finds his own ricochet and draws a foul wow. underneath. Boy, I'll tell you what. That is some intense play. Castanway almost looked panicked because he went up. I think he went up without a plan that time. And it was really uh, well defended there. But follow your shot, follow your miss, whatever, and get to the line, and he does it. And, and now South has the lead. First time we've said that in a long time. First time since the first quarter. Yeah, was it 18-10? Uh, yep. 
Year I was born, Tom. <laughs> a year <laughs> after me. All right, buddy. Thank you. All right, you expect him to hit it, and he does so, and it's a two-point lead at the 118 mark. Pena wearing 51 and not 34 now after the bloody shirt and getting good yeah, pressure. Foul. Let's big see. reach by Clow. Yep. yep. Uh, I nobody, mean, Pena's so quick. Nobody's in uh, team foul trouble right now. No. But looking out, if the big fella, Caravana, gets one, if he comes back, he's automatically in foul trouble. Oh. Nice drive. Oh, he oh, had it. A lane there. Passed it up was Cortez. Couldn't do it. And great hustle by Pena. In addition, side to Rodriguez. Draws a hard foul. Yeah, from Caruso. Caruso had, yeah, it was a good play by Caruso. He had to make that play. Sure. And nice play by Rodriguez to go right up to the hole. And great. again, the fact that he's in this game, he did not play after the first quarter the other night, and it was a noticeable difference. Superb vision by Roy Cortez there and Pena both. And he side rims the first one, nothing doing, and it remains 30-28. We are under a minute at the 55-second mark. Rich McDonough here with Tom King and the whole Nashua ETV crew at the Battle of the Bridge. It's fun, and the stands are now full. This is fantastic. What an atmosphere. 0 for 2 on that trip to the line was Rodriguez. And that keeps the lead at two for the Panthers. Rotating out is uh, Clow. R brings the ball to point. Finds Castanway over in the wing. And he gets nice defense there by Peters to deflect it. But Caruso picks it up and bang, one in. What a shooter, huh? Yeah, it had his hips square, yep. and he gets up in a hurry. I mean, we're looking at a bunch Whoa! of leapers here. Whoa! Whoa! I got to tell you, I was in line with the ball, and there was no the, time. No one touched it. There was no touch. That's part of the game, though, folks. No I coached, one touched I coached it. for 30 years, Tom, and more than that. I hate to date myself that badly. And it's hard, but it's part of the game. You oh, got to keep playing ball. Wow. All right, Rodriguez sets himself up. Got the big fella, Ike Mabusi, in his face. Nothing doing. And Pena looks to create. We're at 20 and counting. Here comes Park Poblani <laughs> with the ball. Way now, outside at the point. Let's see now if that foul, I mean, if that non, if that call leads to points, and it may, no. Parth is a great shooter, can't get that one to go. Six, six seconds left. He's going to come down. Caruso's going to try to take the last shot. Caruso does. does so. Floater with the right hand. No, no good. No go. And that was one heck of a. Tom, does the gym need oxygen yet? <laughs> and sitting on his cable. <laughs> That's all right. It's part of the game here, too. You get a missed call, you get a sat on wire, it's all right. Boy, what a great first half, folks, at the Battle of the Bridge. It's a four point lead where we had lead swings, lead changes, and we had big runs by both teams and some interesting foul trouble going into the second half. What do you think, Tom? I think that right now, if you're north, you're kind of happy you held south to 32 points. Right? I think you're right. So the thing is, what you got to do is you got to play better defense. You kept Castanway, uh, Castaway kind of off kilter in that quarter. Caruso got going, but if you're north, you're liking where you were, but you need some more offense out of your guards. Pena and Roy Cortez have been kind of shut down right now. All right, everybody. Wow, we're glad you joined us. I hope you're glad you joined us. For everybody here in Nashua TV, that was a heck of a first half. Rich McDonough, Tom King, and the crew. We're going to tee up a fresh eight, and then another fresh eight to going into four. It's 32 to eight for the visiting Panthers at the battle. 32 28 for the visiting Panthers at the Battle of the Bridge. We'll see you on the other side of the break, everybody. Thank you.
And welcome back to Nashua North, folks, for Nashua ETV's presentation of high school basketball and Battle of the Bridge, everybody. Rich McDonough here with Tom it King is, tonight. It is a battle. And That's... it is a battle of the bridge. And we get to watch Lisa Jingris uh, do uh, ball control duty on the side. But heck of a first half, frenetic pace at times, a game of swings and a game of runs and some awesome defense and a little bit of foul trouble for the big fella earlier, I think kind of changed the game. Yeah, Vanek, yeah, I think it changed the game because he couldn't pick up, they couldn't pick up the dirty points, right? Right, and he's in there now. Right. The so, freshman, uh, Daniel Caravanek. Right, with two fouls, they took him out right away. And if a freshman, you know, it's gonna be tough to try to keep him from getting into foul trouble. Anyway, we are at 32-28 for the Panthers visiting, walked across the bridge, of course, no bus, right? Right, exactly. And, uh, but uh, terrific exciting first half and you walk around the gym which I did at halftime and um, you know just so much spirit and life in this gymnasium tonight and there always is but particularly tonight yeah we're packed to the rafters right now kids are sitting up on the back side of the of the stands and all it's great fun folks and fasten your seatbelts because right we're on. in for a treat right you got a fresh eight minutes on the clock and they go right away into Rodriguez and he gets up and over the top and puts one down and cuts it to two at 32 to 30. Rodriguez had four in the first half and he adds a deuce to get things going. And Caruso handling the ball out there. He didn't have anything. One of the highest scorers in the state had nothing in the first quarter, but he dropped down 10 in the second time. Look at that. They ball want to get moving. the kid going right away. Trip to Caravanic. No doubt in my mind, as a freshman with all that talent, he's bummed. 6'6. Six, six. Let's go find him right away and get him into the game. All right, it's 7 08 and counting. Back wearing 34 is Pena. He had the bloody jersey for a while there and wore 51. But he's back wearing his threads. And the very speedy, as we kept, kept saying, is Caston, Castanway. Can't get that one to go in. Parth Maglani wielding it down the floor. Gets it to the right hand, goes over everything. A lot of contact, no foul. And oh, almost walking, double, no call. He did, he did walk, he did double dribble. Been a number of no calls tonight. Yeah, no kidding. Yep. And, in, and now they've got uh, they've got Peters on Castanway, and he gets doubled there. He's so fast, they gotta do something to just keep his momentum away from the bucket. Well, I'll tell you what right now, Nashville South needs what they just got with Tripp and Caravanic. They need Caruso and, and Castanway to get the ball movement going. They need a little bit of more ball movement because North's defense has been very good in this game and it's good in this second in this second half so far. All right, Pena controls and creates, gets it over uh, to- uh, Wani wants to take a three in the worst yeah, way. Yeah, he does, but he's got a 6'6 six, six man in front of him now. And Rodriguez comes out like a man on fire and he scores their first yep. four points He's of the got, second right. half, and it's 34-32 at 5.55. Those are gonna happen if you're south. You're gonna have to give up those points. All right, and Caruso with uh, Maglani in his face. That's probably a pretty good matchup if you're the Titans. And you're getting Karavanich some space, and he dishes it over. <laughs> Uh, to uh, Akote, he's got to take the wide yeah, open shot. Yeah, Akote take couldn't get there. And too much contact. That is a charge leaning in. Yep. Leaning in hard was Pena. And I'm right in front of the action right here at our, our desk in the corner. And there was no doubt about it. I would have been shocked if he didn't call it one way or the other. But charging it was. And back on offense and in the hands of Tripp to inbound. And he finds Karavanich out top cutting down from the midcourt line and always get it back to Castanway, who brings it up with his left hand, who can 530. Beat, who can beat the pressure whenever North decides to apply it. I think if it was five on one, he could beat it, Tom. Yep, I think so, too. Yeah, oh, nice a, pass by Tripp again. Tripp is yeah, a very good, good, good passer. And he's got a mismatch. You got Tripp lined up with uh, Peters right now, and that's a, you know, a six-inch giveaway right there. But I'll tell you one thing. This game is, is North's type of game. I mean, it's not a high-scoring affair. South isn't able to run off a lot of points. This is North's game right now, the way it's being played. All right, and Gavin Tiro comes in for Peters. He's at six foot versus five eight. Uh, so Caruso, one on three, doesn't work. All right, 
Maglani finds uh, Rodriguez, nothing doing there. And Terrell goes to the wing, dishes it back up to the top. Parth can't hit it. And nice feed to Rodriguez. All right, Robinson Rodriguez hurt the other night, making a difference in this game tonight. And Six I points think, in the quarter. And I think Karabanich is a, a little bit timid on the, um, the yep. help side defense Those right now. Those two battled it out in the first game between these two teams at the holiday tournament. Uh, which I they didn't see. They really battled it. I mean, right down to the bitter end. It was unbelievable. And I think you had told me that uh, the kid has some mojo there on defense, right? Yeah, he does. Yeah. So, I mean, he's a tough player. You know, he was a scorer at the the younger level, and well, now, of he's, course. <laughs> now he's the, now he's asked to do the other thing. So like just he, feed it to the Eiffel Tower. Right. All right, 440 and counting in the third here. Rich McDonough, Tom King on the call tonight. We're having a blast. Heck of a game. A nice little dish in there, Lorik in that triangle. Good spacing, but too many steps. And back the other way it comes at the 432 mark. Knotted up once again at 34-34. Uh, we were at 22-22 in the second quarter. It's kind of time for the guards for South to take it over. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, I mean, they, you got one of the best backcourts yeah, in the state. Yeah, they've got to dictate the tempo. They've got to set it up. And even if it's them getting heavy pressure out top, yep. they'll be able to create underneath. Right. Beautiful back cut. Beautiful. Pete Carrill would love that somehow. And now the Titans regain the lead. 36-34. Cortez, yeah. All right, here comes Caruso dishing it out to the kid. Big six foot six guy can drain it, and he gets it to roll. And he's got two quickly in the first four minutes of the third quarter, Tom. And a great shot by Miglani. Ah, uh, you get that, and that's what they're And we got our first roll. TO. <laughs> he does not want to see that happen. And the Titans are up. 349. 39-46. In the period. And Maglani with that three-pointer. Ooh boy. It's getting very, very And you see on the replay, he was just waiting, yeah, look at hunting him. the ball, Wide asking open. for it. Yep. And when it. Parth gets his hip square like that, you know, that's he's done exactly it a million it. times. Yep. Yeah. Exactly it. And Impossible. that's the one thing that, that Nashua South can't do is let Maglani go off. I will tell you, in middle school, yep. when Mike McDonough was running yep. uh, point for Hollis Brookline, uh, Parth was doing the same thing. Yep. And he's just better at it than most other people. Like we said, he, he lit it up. He had 36 against Bedford. And not many people can say that against Bedford. So, so the two Parth players who are hurt, hurting the Panthers the most, McGlani and Robinson Rodriguez. Right now, that's for sure. And I tell you, Getting his jersey and, back to a 34, and, Pena, he looks and, better. <laughs> and in this period, the two players who are, who are hurting the Titans the least are the two guards, casting away and Russo. Well, they're giving them good pressure farther out than they're, I think they're used to. Yep. And we'll see if they continue. I mean, it's a good coaching decision by uh, Steve Lane, and Steve Lane's one of the best in the business. I think he was coach of the year last year, was he not? Yes. Yes. All right, 335 and counting. Rich McDonough with Tom King here. Coming out to get it is Castanway, giving good hard pressure by Roy Cortez. Teammates last year, not so this year. And good hard pressure leads to a good Another turnover. turnover. And Tiro going to inbound it and find Roy, Roy Cortez. This is going very much the way the holiday tournament game went. It was a game of runs, but South had by this time had taken control. North came back, and then South won it at the end. All right, Cortez going to his left, hits it off his toe, and it does hit the baseline there. And, and almost, Johnny on the spot. Yeah, and almost, he's got good breaks because he almost plowed into me. Yeah, that was Bill Dupkis, a referee, calling that one. Couldn't miss it. He was two feet away. 3.15, and here come the Panthers. Back on O and down three, kicking uh -huh. it over to Tripp. I thought Tripp was going to take that. I did, too. He's going to take this one. There's no doubt in my mind. And it back rims, can't do it. Rodriguez with the board and gets it out to uh, Roy Cortez, who keeps his chin up and looks calm and cool. And Cortez rotated when he saw it launch that shot. 41. We had a perfect vantage point. Yep. He watched it the whole way. Nice job by Cortez. All alone, in the air, catch and put it up. They might have planned that, so that gets an assist, right? Uh, All right. I don't think so. <laughs> 239 and counting. Uh, what we got now? And a hand check there by Parth Maglani. 
Ooh, on Caruso. Caruso's got that wrap around that uh, right ankle there, Tom. What do you, uh, was, well, it, was he a little dinged up? Well, I told you, going yeah. into the game, he was a game time decision. Yep. And he may not be 100%. No, and it shows right there. All right, Maglani handles it. Got himself the soul patch going tonight. All right, they dish it out to Roy Cortez. Good hard defense, good pick by Maglani, and he backs it out, retreat dribble off the right side of the rim and out. And off to the races goes uh, a Cote, and he dishes it out to Costanway. Gives it back to a Cote, and he goes up and over the smaller, uh, that's uh, Tiro again. And those long arms got they right really up and over. They really make a big difference, but again, who has not scored in this quarter? Yeah. Either guard. Right. And for Caruso to have a goose egg, same as his jersey number, yep. is highly unusual. Maglani front rims it. I think he's going to take this all the way. Look at the speed. And he tried to, he was looking to go crossover and get around Parth's right side and uh, his own I left he, side. Nothing I think doing. he knew that if he took it to the hole, he would have been called for an yeah. offensive foul. So All right, Caruso to inbound here. 144, 41 38. They trail. Gets it into trip. Oh, there's Castanway. He's going to hit that. Nice job. Yep. That's a beautifully scripted play. That How many is. times have they done that one? I know it. A lot, of time, a lot of times in practice, I'll tell you that, I'm sure. I actually saw that when they were playing, uh, I believe they were playing uh, Bedford. Anyway, nice play, well done, well, well executed. And it's 41-40 at 120 in the third quarter. Roy Cortez, uh, he's beautiful got six jump. points in this quarter. What a stop. Stopped on a dime and got up in a hurry. And it's back to a three-point lead for the Titans. Trip short rims it, gets his own rebound, and nicely dishes it out to Cote. And he puts it up and over. Can't get it over Rodriguez, uh, though. South just walking the offensive and rhythm. let me tell you, folks, that was brain yep. power by Roy Cortez. That is a five-point game. Got it over to Melendez at 6-1, and he got up in a hurry. That looked like a football wheel route. But it's Tom. back and forth. We only have 40 seconds left in this quarter. This quarter flew by. Yeah, no kidding. Refs must have dinner on the stove. All right, we got to whistle there and back. The traveling call, and it's going back to the purple, fellas. With 33 seconds left, I don't think they're going to want to hold for the last shot. I think they want to get some points here. Ah, they're so fast, they can get there in five seconds, actually. But again, Castanway, the only guy with the, uh, with the bucket. And the guard tandem, Caruso scoreless in the period. And if you look at Castan, uh, excuse me, not Castanway, if you look at Caruso right now, he is gassed. Yeah, he really is. All right, 25 seconds and counting. Panthers down three in the third quarter, 45-22. Caravanish comes out to handle it. He's got a much smaller man guarding him right now in Tiro. And we're at 15. Well, they are going to hold for the last shot. Yeah, and you got Caruso guarded by... Uh, by Maglani. Maglani. let's see. And here comes a pick by a six foot six He's gonna man. He's going to take it. And too many steps. Yes. Smart defense by a gritty player in, uh, in Peters. And that's what you expect out of Luke Peters. Peters comes over for the help. And Caruso has nowhere to go and screws him up. 3.3. There's a chance. You're saying there's a chance. <laughs> I might have to watch Dumb and Dumber later. And Peters launches one like his brother. We used to call him the lunch pit, lunch bucket kind of player. And uh, boy, what a what a third quarter, Tom. I think it was what 32-28 uh, after at the halftime. Yep, and now it's 45-42 with big quarters by Rodriguez, Maglani, and Roy Cortez. Yeah, Titans outscored the Panthers 17 to 10 in that frame. Just what the doctor ordered, Definitely. at least you would think so. Yep. But with a team like the Panthers, as fast as they are, as experienced, as, as they got that. nice uh, highlight. Look at right. him. Yeah, that was such good heady play. Anytime you get a, 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 a an initial outlet, keep your chin up as somebody is fast and getting down court. We like seeing that, folks. Nice looking replay there. Thanks to our crew, Tim O'Neill up there doing expert work from the stands and probably getting going deaf with all the kids up there. And Dylan Smith giving us a look inside the various uh, huddles there. 
Love seeing it. All right. Heck of a quarter there for the Titans. And they must have gotten a good pep talk in between halves right there because they were down four and looking a little lax going into the going into the halftime break. All right, we got a fresh but eight. We got the final eight, it's, one it's, would think. It's pretty simple, right? Yep. It's pretty simple for South. They only had 10 points in that quarter, okay? This is a team that can score 10 in a, in, in a hurry. They can it's, score 10 in the first two minutes. Caruso, zero. Yeah. Castanway, four. Four or two, yep. Yeah, two, I think, two. And then now you got you got to have other players step up, and that's what happened there. And I think that might be three or... No, no, they, call, they didn't call it on. I thought they called it on uh, Parth. Nothing doing. And right out of the gate, off that whistle, here comes Rodriguez. All six, five of them. Yeah, so uh, Pena took that foul. Pena's got his uh, 34 jersey back. Yeah, and uh, he, I think he's playing better. 51, 34. If you're into 34, 51 just won't cut it. All right, going to the line is Big Ike Boosie, 6 1 senior. Quality minutes in the first half there. And All we're right. tied. It's and 45. we are tied one more time. I'm going to bet that it won't be the last time. All right, good jab step and, and foot. Oh, boy. Roy Cortez had gotten himself wide open and was begging for the ball, but. Ball was doubled, so nothing happened. Cortez, good crossover, puts it in his right, gets it over the front oh. of the rim. And, and a, Okote <laughs> saying, where'd I get him? Yeah, we'll see if, if we get a re replay on that one. He looked, he reached down low, and we'll see what happens. It, he was kind of upset with that, but he going was, to the rim nevertheless is Roy Cortez. He was Cortez. about six inches behind him. Well, and that's when reaches happen. And, well, I don't think he, I mean, according to what I have on the camera, it didn't look like he touched him. 724, nevertheless, he front ends the uh, first one, and it stays deadlocked at 45. Battle of the Bridge, this particular version, has been phenomenal. And Roy Cortez gets this one to drop, and they take the lead one more time. Titans got to play some good defense. Big fella Ike comes down, and gets a turnover. It, They've had goes turnover. off a foot. They've had a lot of turnovers in this in this second half. And numerous unforced. And now North returns the favor. <laughs> Carry. Steve Lane is apoplectic right now. Yeah, he didn't like that call at all. Yeah. All right, trip inbounds to Caruso. Caruso, you know, he, he lists at 6'2", but those arms, I mean, he plays like a 6'7 guy at times. Good kick out over to Tripp. Tripp tries to get it over to Trip's the big fella Ike. Tripp's to take the open shot. He's all alone. Take it. Yeah. Go, to, go right to the basket with it. Sometimes you can be too generous. Yep. All right, McGlani. But that's two turnovers in a row now. I mean, that, turnovers is, are what is really starting to hamper South because the ball is not in Caruso or Castanway's, Castanway's hand. Well, once again, the Titans come in with a four-game losing streak, and they were thought to be one of the best teams in Division I. Great feed, great cut. Yep. McGlani dishes it, puts it under and over the, uh, under the rim, and then back up. Nice job by McGlani. Great recognition on that feed. And at 6:22, the Titans are back up by three in this all-important battle of the bridge. Titans coming in at four and four. North, I mean, excuse me, South coming in at six and two. And on a five game winning streak. Five game winning streak, seven overall if you count the tournament games. Yep. And both teams lost in the semis last year in the tourney. Right, South and is out of sorts. And they're still thinking about it. South is out of sorts. They are certainly out of sorts. They're Definitely out of sorts. So you look at that. Yeah, Caruso doesn't miss the rim by that much ever. No, but he shot way out. That's an NBA three. But they're again, they're giving him real good pressure early on. The defense on him is making him have to work and use some of those body parts that are sore, right? Yeah. And that's been a big thing. Now, that's a nice cut and a block by Robinson Rodriguez. But the reason you got the cut is because the bigs are down low. And what a play. Recognition by Rodriguez. Excellent. Way to go up to the right side of the rim, get that long arm up to the frame, and down she goes. 
And they count him, and he's got one. Coming. Yes, indeed. 559, folks. It's left in the uh, game, we think. Yep. And it's 50 to 45. You never know. Titans with all the momentum right now, yep, TK. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. You got just under one tick under six minutes. The Titans are on a roll. You're turning the ball over if you're the, uh, the Panthers. You had all the momentum coming into the game, doing everything right on paper with the, you know, highest score in backcourt, one of, one of the highest score in backcourts in the state, and they've taken away your game. What do you think Coach Maserol is saying right now? You've well, known him for longer than I well, have. Well, here's, I mean, he's, first of all, he's telling them they've got to play better defense. <laughs> right? They've got to play better defensive. Second of all, they've got to cut down the turnovers. Third, okay. So Caruso can't take the jumper, but right. casting away can. So they need to shift their offense a little bit and get Zach Castingway involved in the game offensively. I think he's not, he's the point guard, he's the facilitator. He takes his shots when he sees them, but now they have to create for him. They've got to get him the ball and let him shoot it. They got to pick away from the ball, I think. But if he's got the ball, I think they've got to. You know, he, they got to give him an opportunity to cut exactly. if his ankle can handle it. Yep. They've, they've stopped the cutting of the blazing fast Castanway. Right. right. So who's going to step in? All right, and here we go on the three point play is Rodriguez. 6 5, long arm goes up, nothing. Oh, what a. My. There's my lunch bucket fella. Peters, rebound, taps it over, and draining it was Roy Cortez, and we are at an that eight point is lead a for the Titans. With wow. Five, 55 left when he hit it, 541. Or and 5 did you see how long a look he took at that net oh, after sure. it swished? All right, here goes the big fella. Great long arms by uh, Rodriguez. And nice, that's his game. That's when he can game. wheel. Yep. When he can wheel in the post, he's got really good footwork for a ninth grader, and that's his game. And he's got four, six points already after being blanked in the first. But Roy Cortez launches one. Caruso handles it. Fans think he stepped on the line. I don't think he did. But we'll see as we trickle down to five minutes. Wow. Yep, and there's Castanway. Is he putting an end to the bloodletting here? We don't know. But they sure needed that, did the Panthers, after leading much of the first half. All right, Rodriguez way out in the three-point line, deed up by Kurt Vanich, forces him to turn the ball over. Good job. And Castanway gets to the rim Unbelievable. They Boy. can just score in a flash. But getting down the floor is the savvy Peters. I, I got to say, Castanway must do a 4-4-40. Excellent, excellent follow your shot. And Park takes it, buries it off the board in the dish by Rodriguez. Great heads up play by Rodriguez. Yeah. Way to follow the player, follow the Tip rebound. Tip to the freshman from South. Pay attention, the ball's right in your hands. Yeah. Grab it, don't just stand there. 55-51, folks. Oh, so you Caruso gets to the floor, unfortunately. He just cannot spring. No walking that's... call, but a timeout call. Beautiful timeout yeah. by Steve Lane. Caruso cannot spring, and that showed right there. Normally, what he does on a play like that, off the dribble, yep. he'll step back and elevate that the shot. It's that ankle. It's that ankle. He cannot do it. He could do it earlier. He can't do it now. Which means it's tiring out. And there's only so much tape you can put on an ankle. Right. I've been there, done that too many times to, to count. He heard it in, against Timberlane in the second half. Yeah. He's a little snake bit as well. But credit the Titans for taking him intentionally out of what, his game. I'll tell you what. The, the, I mean, the play, right, the play that typifies this game yep. was the play, the top back to Roy Cortez. Absolutely. Who hit the shot and was able just to hit the three-point. Well, and then the IQ by Parth McGlani to follow Rodriguez no doubt about into it. the lane where he rebounded they his own shot. They have good ball. Moritz has great ball movement. A great ball great movement. Great ball movement. South has good ball movement, too. The problem is, is they're, they're not able to connect right now. And team trust. Yep. Team trust. 
You've, well, got, you've got players who are touching the ball and not taking, as, and taking shots they normally don't take. But out of rhythm are the Panthers. We'll see what they do to get themselves into rhythm. Well, Sometimes number, you got to work yourself into rhythm. The rhythm is number 11. He's got to oh, be amen. the guy. Yep. He scored two quick hoops. They're back in the game. And now they turn the ball over. they got to play defense. All right, picking it up under four minutes now. 3.52 and counting. Rich McDonough, Tom King. Battle of the Bridge has been a great one. Excellent pick by Tyrell up there. Gets it over to Peters. Peters looks to dish and does so. Doing the little weave outside at the perimeter here are the Titans, which also chews up clock, Tom. It. Now time is on their side. We're Good retreat the dribble. Play. Almost a steal. That yeah, was poked out, poked out long. And there goes Peters. A heck of a rebound there. And that's the other thing, Pena. too. Oh, look at his three. Nope. Terrell's going to be short there. Trip with a good rebound. Stepped inside his man. Oh, Home no. run pass to the drive in Karavanich, and he dumps it in and cuts it to two at the 310 mark. Great court vision. Great job by Trip. All right. A little bit of offense time for the Titans. And choose some clock. You can choose some clock without taking yourself out of rhythm. No doubt about it. They go back to that weave. Everybody's going through the lane and then getting it. back oh. outside. Oh. And Pena. that usually frees up the weak side guy and bang zoom. Jaden Pena was waiting there once again. And Caruso going to the rim gets hacked on route. <laughs> and that three pointer took us to 58 53 that by 243. Took us to a five point game and Peters came up lame on that one it's just going to be tough south in addition if, to a sip of water I need some oxygen well time. I'll tell you what so does everybody on that floor right holy smokes <laughs> all right again we are 243 in so, one heck of a game here battle of the bridge so Caruso now hasn't shot much in this the second half will now have two free throws. No appreciable foul issues again with high school basketball. Four and quarters, I, you go to five and you're shooting two. No more I, one and one. And I'll tell you what, I'm not going to jinx him, but let's see what he does <laughs> with the second free throw. And I'll tell you right after. Well, it doesn't matter what kind of point it is. He needed a point. And he looks frustrated. He, re he actually looks frustrated. The ankle's probably frustrating him. And, and so uh, is the North defense. Suffocating defense he hasn't by the missed, Titans. He hasn't missed a free throw in, in centuries. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> You'd know. That's <laughs> I'm right. right behind you, though. Yep. All right, 2.30s coming up on the clock. Titans up by three, 58-55. Don't want to don't take yourself out of rhythm, obviously, but you don't want to give it right back. And there's a good guy to get it to. And Maglani drains the three. And makes it 61-55, 2.20 on the clock. And when they do that, they're tough to beat. When they shoot like that, they're tough to beat. They almost did a little rope-a-dope there. They lulled the Panthers to sleep. Well, they are playing their offense the way they want to play it, as opposed to South. Yeah, and Maglani is doing a good job on the not 100% Caruso. And that's helping turn him into a... You know, not the Caruso factor that he typically is. That one wow. ricochets, goes out. Yeah, two Titans <laughs> fought for the rebound, and uh, they not both cancel each other out. All right, Melendez comes in for Peters. Peters gave Coach some serious minutes yeah, there. He's just a, a fighter. He's he is athlete. a warrior. He is. He really is. Absolute warrior. No matter what. I mean, I think if you played checkers, it'd be a tough. It'll be a physical checkers game. All right, Trip goes, dishes out to the top. Perimeter, good rotation. They find the 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, uh, Karavanich out. He wasn't going to take that shot. The guy there wrote, she may just call timeout, right? Yeah, and here's a good why. timeout. And here's why. Who didn't touch the ball on that rotation around the perimeter? Uh, Mr. Castanway. Yeah, yes. exactly. Well, they are taking him off the but ball, yeah, too. He was wide open. He was alone and watching. He's got to take the flow, get the ball on the perimeter, get the ball back out to him at the perimeter right. so he can shoot it and hit it. I think it's almost as if, and we're speculating here. I mean, I played varsity basketball uh, in high school, got recruited by two colleges, but um, I played lacrosse in college. Sometimes when you're, your backcourt partner is taken out of his rhythm, you get a little exasperated, and all, consequently, you get out of rhythm yourself. Yeah. Because that's the ethos of this team, is it all starts with those two fellas deservingly preseason all New Hampshire. And when that happens, the chemistry starts to erode a little bit. 
Chemistry of road? I'm not a science guy. My it's, wife's a it, physicist. It's changed it. It's changed it all. You but know, this is going to be interesting down the stretch. The off, 144. The time. offensive chemistry for South is not the same, but I'll tell you what, North's defense is the same. Better than it has oh, been. Oh, terrific. And that's well, what they've got. Well, there are a couple of good runs for, for South in this game, but Steve Lane has put together a terrific game, game plan. This was gut check time for them. They Amen. In, they came into this game, loses a five straight, four in the division. They needed the win. They needed the win desperately. All right, reset it, folks. 144 on the clock, Battle of the Bridge. Hometown Titans, home court Titans are up six. And out of rhythm are the Panthers, who had come in winning five straight at six and two. Very important game for both teams, but particularly for the Titans. And their crowd is letting them hear it. But they can't take too much time. They're taking a lot of time off the clock. Yeah, they're down six. Caruso it. cannot. You've got to shoot it. He cannot shake uh, <laughs> Melendez right there. Garavetti's got to take the shot. And that's off left side of the rim. And getting up there is Rodriguez. Great tap. And notice who didn't touch the ball during that sequence. Yep. Castanway is absent. It's amazing. That's about the third or fourth tip that Pena has had tonight that has led to possession and points, or points. And now North or South, finally, they've got a foul. Yep. It's going to be a game at the line. Right now, this is North's game as they, down the stretch, have done what they needed to do. Hit the big shots and control the basketball and play great defense. Those three things. And that's how up, you get home. You're up six with less than a minute to play. Oh, what a play. They were looking for the backpedaling. <laughs> and yep. Tiro saw it. Great feed in to Roy Cortez. And it's an eight-point lead, folks. There's a guy who can change it in a hurry, but it's not going in for him tonight. Good rebound there by uh, the big fella. And he can't make that one happen. Front rims it. Parth ends up with the, with the board. And they will just try to dribble and it out. You know, you want to get some token offense, but you do want to kill 10 seconds, 15 seconds Well, here. you got 31.7 seconds left, so let's see what we got here. And the They're crowd feeling even, it. But this is where the new rule kicks in. Right. They're not even close. Yep. Four fouls, they need one more. They need one more. I bet you they do it quickly. But you want to foul the right person. 31.7 on the clock, eight-point lead for the Titans. They throw it deep they to Parth and right they away. foul him, and he's just, he's a pure shooter. It's yep. going to be a very difficult hope <laughs> for Nate Mazarol and yeah. his Panthers. He's got his arm cro arms crossed and knows that I this mean, he is, shoots 50% from three-point land. This is just going to be a tough one. Yeah. 29.8 on the clock. Pure shooter at the line. No sweat from Mr. McGlani. Not at all. And back in comes Melendez, who's a, a hard charging defender out there. Has taken a lot of guys off their mark today. And it's 64 55 with a chance to go to 10. And doing so are the Titans. It's so a 10 there point is lead. No drama in this one. Well, there was, but not now. The final act happened, and there is Castanway. Kind of gets off the uh, schneid. Yeah, but a little bit too late. Too little, too late. Well, he cuts it to seven with 20 seconds left. They'll go hack a shack the rest of the way, no doubt, Tom. And that'll send who knows who to the line. But there are a lot of good shooters out there for the North Titans. I'll tell you what, important game, but looking out for the Titans. Uh, they've got BG, who are two and five this year coming up in this gym. And then they got to go to Londonderry. They host uh, Spalding, and they're at Salem, and then at Memorial. I've called a Memorial game or two this year. That's a very quick team. It's a very quick team, but they don't know how to finish yet. I meant I saw them lose that one to Trinity. Yeah, and that's that's the tough part about it. Yeah. So, um, you know, there's some tough roads ahead for both teams. Sure. But but the Titans have the, a chance to get right back into good rhythm. I believe a couple of weeks from tonight, sometime, I think it's a couple of weeks from tonight, it will be south at Bedford. Yes, it is. I didn't put that one on there. That is <laughs> going to be a battle. But, I mean, you've got to have a healthy south team to be able to keep up with that Bedford team because they can run you out of the gym. But you want to take care of these business, uh, take care of business games. You want to take care of business and put yourself right back into the 
really strong part of the uh, tournament hunt there, Tom. Yep. And here comes Hackashack. 18.1 seconds left. Panthers are down seven, and it's what they have to do at this point. Boy, and I'll tell you, Castanway, you don't see it very often. Hands on hip, chin down. Tough to see. He's a terrific yeah, he's, player. Yeah, it's, it is tough. And Roy Cortez buries the first of two. Puts his team back up by eight points. Boy, this has been a fun one, Tom. It has. I just wish it came down to the last possession. You kind of do. You, we felt that way for a while. That's what you want to see, right? Sure. All right, he buries two of two, and it's a nine-point spread. Castanway trying to do anything well, he can to create. Two, they get it to the big fella. He can't do anything. Get blocked by Rodriguez at 9.1 seconds. But again, second. if you're Castanway, take the three, right? Take the three. He was pretty well D'd up, but I don't know, launch it, right? Launch it. You get he's fouled, you he's get, kind of a magician. You get fouled, you get three shots. Okay. All right, Caruso inbounds, and they are singing the song, folks. All right, this is a huge, huge win for Steve Lane and the fellas. And they run out the clock. What a game, Tom. Back and forth we went. Great defense, some great shooting. Fabulous and, game. And then a ton of heart by the Titans in the Battle of the Bridge. And they square the evening at one and one. Girls lost in the first one. Boys overcome a huge lead, a huge deficit early, and take the cake here by a score of 67-58. I'm Rich McDonough. I called the game with Tom King. That was a blast for everybody at Nashua ETV. Executive Director Pete Johnson. Dylan Smith on the cameras and Tim O'Neill up there in the rafters. Rich McDonough here. Great to be with you. We'll see you down the road. of a game, game of swings, and that's what it takes sometimes. Well, first off, Zach and Josh are really, really good players. Uh, super difficult to guard, and that was our, our uh, you know, our mission today coming in, just to try to limit their limit their attempts. They're tough to keep down. They played really good tonight, but I'm, I'm glad that we got a win, because we needed one. We are in a, a tough situation. I'm glad for the kids. How often can a team say they goose egged Caruso for two quarters, which you did, first and third? Well, I'm going to credit some of the kids that uh, reserve players for me to going in and just doing their job. Uh, I, I coached for 30 years. I've had some ru some runs of losses as well. What does this do for your psyche? Well, it's going to help the kids' confidence because yeah. we've lost four in a row, starting with these guys, you know, about a month ago. Um, hopefully, they can they can gain that confidence, think they can play with anybody at this point. So. Coach, thanks for your time. Good luck. All right, for Nashua ETV, Rich McDonough, Dylan Smith looking at me right here. It's been a blast tonight, and we'll see you on the next game, folks. Thanks for joining us.